So every little concept or a little trick, technique, uh, or theory uh, must be um, used, applied to other things to see whether it's valid. So the conversion theory aspect of it is that it's also universal. So now we, we talked about uh, converting food uh, to energy in the body. And then now you look at a car, the car actually converts gas into an explosion, then into a physical. It's just, so the head, don't try to stop yourself and just go like this. You need to bend your shoulder backward more. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, okay. Calvin, do you know why? No. Yeah, I'll show you. So when you are here, if you simply do the claw move here, you can see the claw movement move will not connect to your forearm because the shoulder is out of place. It causes the alignment to be lost. So when, you're, when you lean back more, the shoulder actually sinks lower. When it's lower, mm -hmm. this connects to here. Otherwise, it's still your uh -huh. line, the line you create. If your shoulder does not lean back, kind of almost falling downward kind of thing, you're, the mm -hmm. line you create from your claw is too thick. It does not hit your arm. Your arm is very small. Your forearm is very small. It has to lean back so much it actually joins. And now you understand why I have to make correct, corrections because you don't, the person doing it cannot feel exact, uh, feel 100%. So, ah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, okay. okay. The, 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 as long as I can see the claw and the elbow and the hand, that's it. No, hey, yeah, much, uh, much uh, more important. Very, so at the beginning, it's purely from the claw creating this thrust. Later, by bending here and pushing your heel, your claw goes upward. It's, it's a vertical move. Do not do this, do not do this. You need a shoulder and a finger stretch. As you stretch, your finger is slightly up, but the rod is here. So you have to stretch this way. This time, don't look at my shoulder, look at my finger. So this is the imagined horizontal line. This is where your finger, I use one finger, it's like this, they are not together. As you stretch, you stretch onto it and then continue. Right now, we, we all have this problem. This is the benchmark straight in the horizontal line. We're all moving like this. We want the move to stretch and extend into that. It stops here, the claw goes to the goes here. If the claw move goes to my shoulder, can you see everything dissipates? Can you see that now? Yes. Otherwise, can you see a one, two more move of your hip? Nice. So I want you to stop a little bit and just to go out here and first to show this here. And then it carries here. Can you see? Can you see the Everything else is an adaptation. The activity is here. See, look, this is the normal rotational move. We're not doing that. We only want to do it on one plane, and the, the hip here powers everything as they are stiff. You see that? So the hand goes up at the beginning, no problem. The first move is we only want to see whether you're moving here, whether this transmits to here. If you have a move, it's not transmitting. Okay. So it's, can you see it's only one piece? And you can go like this, you can go like this, you can go like this, you can go like this. I showed everybody this before. So at the beginning, can you see it's this move? Come back, is this move? Come back, is this move? Can you see there's no movement of the forearm? Right? So if I want to reach here, and I'm standing here, we always want to do this. Can you see that? And then as we see that we want to adjust the hand to think we have a grip. No, it has to be like this. 
This way I cannot grab the back of the chair, so what I do is I adjust my body. I adjust my body. I adjust my body. Can you guys see? So at this point, if I go, that's a move. But can you see I adjust my body? I adjust my body. I adjust my body. Now it's on it. 